Well, welcome once again to another edition, yes, another edition of Eddie's Corner, and they said it wouldn't last. I am Eddie Applefeld, and right back there is my corner. Happy you're with us. Where are we? Well, we're at 804 Hammonds Ferry Road. That's in Linthicum. This is G&M Restaurant. You've probably heard about it, if not been here, in business since 1993, owned and operated by John and George, two local guys. Let me show you some of the food. That, by the way, it's open seven days. Let me show you some of the food that they brought to our table. Let's start with the crab cake. They're certainly known for this huge crab cake. Broiled is the way I like it, but you can get it another way if you want. Then there's the crab dip. Now this is good for an appetizer. And if you're not too hungry, well, you can use it as the main entree also. The shrimp salad sub, as you can see, it's filled with shrimp. It's very delicious. And then there's the cheeseburger. What can you say about a cheeseburger? This is as good as any. We're gonna come back to G&M in just a bit, but first we're gonna make a stop at a place that I've never been to, maybe just a few weeks ago, my first time. I've heard about it, I finally went. It's in Fort Meade, right next to NSA. It's the National Cryptology Museum. It's all about code making and code breaking. Let's take a look. I think most people find it fun and a bit of an adventure to discover new places to explore. And that was exactly what I did recently with a visit to the National Cryptologic Museum which opened in 1993, and it's located at Colony 7 Road in Fort Meade, next to the NSA. What an interesting and fascinating place, especially when you consider what it represents. Basically, the best in code-making and code-breaking the country had to offer. Now, of course, today, there are more sophisticated tools. Open weekdays from 9 to 4, and the first and third Saturdays of the month, the museum is filled with artifacts, pictures, and so much more detailing a history of cryptology in America in wartime. Over the years, it has been a valuable tool for thousands of people, from school children to scholars. I'm sure when you enter, you'll have very little idea what's inside. That's why I recommend a guided tour. Yes, you can visit on your own, but you'll get so much more from a guide. The museum is said to be the first public museum in the intelligence community. About 70,000 people visit per year, and why not? It's free. It's owned and operated by the National Security Agency. The museum is divided into rooms that includes a library, gift shop, Memorial Hall and exhibits that include those on the Civil War, World War I, Korean War, Code Talkers, and the Battle of Midway. And please don't leave without seeing the Enigma, one of the most significant cipher devices of World War II. You can even touch it. Field trips are welcome. 301-688-2145 for more information. If you have any interest at all in history, this is a museum you want to visit. Even if you have small children, it's a great place to learn. Okay, back to G&M briefly. I wanted to mention a bakery, as you can see, lots of items to choose from. It's located right in the carryout, and they do a big carryout business. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Another edition of Eddie's Corner. I'm Eddie Applefeld. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to take a quick dip.